Hi Rachel, I thought the easiest thing to do might be to just run through some different scenarios in using it that might help you. So we'll just pretend that I'm replying to this message. So this could be this could be an email. It could be any document whatsoever. Just something I can actually edit. So I can type I can type in here. This is the important thing. So the first thing you do is you select sentence by sentence the information that you're trying to translate. And then I would press Control C. So I press Control C. Oops, I didn't press Control C. I just typed the letter C. Control C, and this will then open up T Windows for Clipboard. It puts the source material you just copied into the source, does a lookup on it, and if it finds an answer, it puts it in the target side. I'm happy with that answer, so I'm just going to press Control Enter to confirm it. Same as I would working in Studio, but what that does is it confirms it back to the TM, it takes me back into the document, and now I can press Control V, and it pastes it straight in. I can go to the next one. Press Control C. I'm happy with that one too. So I press Control Enter, Control V. So I've done the second one. If I came across a segment like this one, and I press Control C, it does the lookup and it doesn't find anything because there's nothing in there, then I have to type the translation in. Ich bin project manager in, I suppose, something like that. Confirm it, which sends it to the TM. So I've now added it to the TM, takes me back to the document. If it hasn't brought you properly back in the document, which it hasn't in this case for some reason, I just activate the document to make sure it's active and notice that this has now gone blue. So when I press Control V, I actually paste it in. So that's something you have to watch out for. I don't know why it does that, but we're going to look at this application and fix a whole load of things in it because I'm not very happy with the way it works. So the other thing you can do. If you just didn't want to do that and you just wanted to paste or could, you just wanted to add some things into it, if you find out where it is down here in your taskbar, right click, restore T Windows for clipboard. So, say for example, in here I wanted to add in, um, thank you for your help. Help. Thank you for your help. I can do a lookup on there. I see there's no matches found in there, so I can come over to this side and just type it in. Feeling dank. Hilfer. Like that, and then I can press confirm and enter it, and that's now entered it into the TM. So if I was to come back and do this again, so I looked at this one now, control C, and look it up. You can see now it's in the TM. So I can add things into the TM by doing it that way, just by manually typing it in. It's tricky to copy and paste things in because it keeps activating the application. There may be some way of, of changing that with some setting file somewhere, which I haven't had a look at yet. But I'm going to fix that as well when we come to look at this application. I'm going to try and make it a bit more flexible in this respect to make it easier for adding to use. But that's how you would do it. So you can use T-Windows for Clipboard for it. It's a bit finicky, but you can use it, and that's how you do it. I hope that helps.